New safety device could prevent hundreds of deaths on the road each year. Underride guards keep cars from sliding beneath heavy trucks in what can be gruesome accidents. Guards are currently required on the back of big trucks, but until recently they hadn't been built for the side of the trucks. Four in your corners, Patrick Terpstra bringing us one mom's fight to require these side underride guards. Lois Durso and other family members of truck crash victims gather at a vehicle test track. They're here to see a car ram into the side of a tractor trailer outfitted with a newly developed side underride guard, like a metal bumper. Lois's daughter Roya died in 2004 when, on a snowy road, a car driven by her fiancé slipped beneath a typical truck with no side guard. The wheels eventually crushed her. When you lose a child, it is a constant companion. The grief is always there. The, the loss of your child never goes away. She's fighting now to make the government require side guards on trucks. Obviously, you know, when you go through so much loss and grief, you want to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. Crash test video shows without a side guard, the front of a car goes beneath much of a truck's trailer until smashing into the passenger compartment. Seat belts and airbags offer no protection. You can see the impact peeled back the roof of the car. We are told this likely would have been a fatal crash. Our examination of federal crash data shows about 300 people die each year in side collisions with trucks. About half of those deaths are from cars going beneath the side of trucks, according to IIHS. Would a side guard be strong enough to stop a car traveling 40 miles per hour? With the families watching, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety put a mid-sized car to the test. The side guard stops the car, crumpling the engine compartment, but keeping the passenger cabin intact. The crash dummy survives. The truck either runs a red light or the car runs a red light. Uh, you shouldn't die because somebody runs a red light. The trucking industry says questions must be answered before requiring these metal side bumpers. Could the guards push cars into traffic in some cases? How would the bars handle a buildup of snow and ice? And would the extra weight require trucks to make more trips on the road, increasing the chance of fatal wrecks? It's, it's still being tested. It's, it's new. It's raw. We need, you know, a million miles or whatever running that thing up and down the road in various weather conditions and road conditions and off-road conditions to, to make it prove out. Regulators have not taken a stand on side guards. Lawmakers in Washington are planning to introduce legislation to require side underride guards on trucks. Lois Durso says they would have kept her daughter alive. And had there been a guard... I am convinced my daughter would be here. I have no question about it. Now it's up to the government here in Washington to decide what to do. While there don't appear to be any plans to require side underride guards, DOT is proposing stricter rules for rear guards. Those have been required on the back of trucks for decades. In Washington, Patrick Terpstra for Scripps News.